prepare for nerdgasm. Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? First and foremost, happy Valentine's Day. And uh, second, we're going to unbox a keyboard here. I was a little bit of a dipshit and forgot to turn on my uh, microphone on my camera when I videoed the unboxing, so we are now doing a voiceover. So let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. Well, anyways, here we have a Logitech K400 keyboard, which I picked up from Newegg. I actually bought two of them, one for my Media Center man cave and one for the actual man cave uh, because it's fun to control shit from across the room. And it works good for the racing simulator because I got a nice lightweight keyboard I can pretty much just throw around and use while I'm on the sim and I don't have to reach around for shit. So it's pretty nice. So here I am opening the box. Oh, shit, I ripped it. God, well, I don't think you guys will be too harsh on me since it's a cheap little keyboard. You guys usually get pissed when I rip the boxes and destroy them like there's some kind of shrine or display piece but anyways i digress here we have the first component that came out of the box which is a little extender that you plug the transmitter into or the receiver which what have you probably bi-directional i don't know but you plug that in and it gets the dongle out away from the computer so you get better reception if you're on a laptop you don't need the little extender you just plug the radio right into the side of it and that's pretty much that well here you have the keyboard wrapped in some fancy ass plastic not really it's actually shitty plastic but uh you know, uh, I got to say something about it while this video is rolling because I'm voicing it over and I'm pretty much watching it and talking about it. Uh, same as you guys are watching it, if it makes sense. Kind of weird. So anyways, here we have the keyboard. It's actually a good looking keyboard. Um, you know, it's it's pretty, it, it's a little bit flimsy, but not in a cheap way, if that makes sense. I mean, it does feel solid, but you can, you can rock it back and forth. Here you can get a size perspective. Sitting next to my DAS keyboard Model S, it's actually pretty sweet. Um, you can see the whole keyboard with the multi-touch key keypad is about the same size as just the keyboard portion of the DAS keyboard. And it's uber thin, like a razor blade. It's got a button over there on the left-hand side that you can use for click, and then you can operate the cursor with your other thumb. You can also use the buttons down under the touchpad, um, or you can just double tap the touchpad. It works pretty much just like a laptop touchpad, and it supports multi-select. You have a function key down there at the bottom to enable your scroll lock, your print screen, page up, page down, you know, all the standard shit. And, uh, and you know, in the, in the key press on it's really good. It's even got a Windows key on it. Uh, another cool thing I like about it is here... Flip it over. Come on, flip. Oh, yeah, you can see how flimsy it is right there. It's not that bad. I, I swear to God, it's not that bad. Um, kind of looks a lot worse in the video than when I was doing it. Uh, so, anyways, flip the damn thing over. God, okay, there we go. So, it's got some batteries already in it, which I thought was pretty sweet. So, you just pull the tabs, and, uh, and then there's a little on switch on the top. Come on, flip it around. Getting ahead of myself. There you go. And there, now you got power. You plug in the dongle. It's plug and play. Works in Windows 7, Windows 8. I haven't tried it with OS X, but it just works. And the battery compartment's really easy to get in and out of. Unlike that damn Microsoft wireless keyboard, there's no screws and shit to get at stuff. You just pop it off. And uh, so it's it's very, very easy to use the keyboard. It's got, mo oh, and it's got some multimedia keys on it. So you got, you know, basically volume up, volume down, mute, and you got a home button. I don't know why they fucking put home buttons on keyboards, but they do. Like, I guess in your web browser, a lot of people like to go back to their search engine, apparently, without having to move the cursor. So here you have the standard documentation that tells you, yeah, this keyboard will probably give you carpal tunnel and fuck your wrists up for life. So, you know, Logitech just doesn't take any liability. And then another 40 different languages telling you how to just plug the damn thing in and it should just work or call an 800 number. So, all right, that's pretty much it. So let's toss the garbage aside here. Wing. Okay, so here again, this is what you get in the box. Pretty much you get this little itty bitty keyboard. It's already got batteries in it. They're a shitty brand though. So who knows how long they'll last. I've been using my other one for about three days. No problem so far. And you get the little extender and the dongle. Again, here it is next to the DAS keyboard S. You can see how thin and how small it is. And now it's not so small that you can't type on. I can type wicked fast on this thing. I didn't really take any video of it to prove it, but it's, it's actually a very comfortable keyboard and the keys are where they're supposed to be for the most part. On the back, you got a little raised lip along the edge there where the battery is. So it can rest on your index fingers, which which is actually pretty sweet because it's ergonomic and very easy to use while you're holding it. Um, typing on it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, you know, with the two hands since the touchpad forces your thumb over so far, but it's really easy to just set in your lap or just set on the arm of a chair or something like that. It's uh, I haven't had any problems whatsoever typing on it, or if you just want to hold it with one hand and hunt and peck with the other, it works great that way too. So uh, the key things that I like about it is I like that it has an alternate mouse button over on the left side. So you can basically click with one hand while you're moving around on the pad with the other. It makes dragging and dropping shit like super easy. Like so it's, it's my favorite keyboard for that feature alone. Um, it's also quite inexpensive. I don't have the exact price sitting in front of me, but I'll put it down in the description. And it's not a bad looking keyboard either. I mean, it says Logitech on it. Logitech makes keyboards and mice. I mean, they're known for it. 
Now here out of nowhere, I'm showing you my little trackball. I did a review on this a couple days ago. It's also wireless and uh, has some cool functions and a little trigger pull. I kind of use both devices together. Um, like when I'm sitting in my room, if I'm just using Plex Media Center and I'm just flipping between episodes and shit, I just use the trackball. It just seems to work better. But if I need to type stuff in and search for a show or search for something specific or actually use the computer more like a computer, I grab the keyboard. So I have both of them plugged in at the ready. They don't conflict with each other in any way, shape, or form. And sometimes I'll even give my wife one of the devices and I'll use the other one and we'll just fight over the damn mouse cursor. And then we'll realize, like, what the fuck's going on here? And she'll be like, oh, well, I'm trying to find something too. But anyways, I digress. So here it is. You got the extension. You got a little wireless dongle. You got a keyboard. It's lightweight. It's easy to use. Um, I don't really have any complaints other than the keys aren't backlit, but if the keys were backlit, it would just drain the batteries that much faster and it doesn't have a recharging base. You do have to just put new batteries into it, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that as long as the batteries last a while. Again, I've only used it for three days, so I don't know what the battery life is like on this thing, but since you can turn it on and off when you're using it with a simple switch at the top, I'd imagine that the batteries could probably last well over a year if you're, if you're being good about turning it off. But me, I haven't been. I've been just leaving it on and so far so good. Well, anyways, guys, it's pretty pretty much a keyboard. I don't know what else I can really say about it. I mean, it's badass. It works good with Plex. It's got all the keys that you need for Windows. I don't think it works with Mac, but you know, you guys could give it a try. I'll put more uh, comments down in the description. So guys, I hope this video gave you a nerdgasm. Please leave your comments, like, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, let me know if you like this voiceover thing. It was really awkward and weird to do, but somehow I have a feeling it'll be a little funnier and the audio is an awful lot clearer when I'm using the studio mic. So anyways, have an orgasm. Have a nice night. Take it easy.